Hey everyone, I'm Krista Seiden, and I'm here today with Matt, who is a product manager on Google Analytics. And Matt is gonna tell us all about how to edit events using the user interface in Google Analytics 4 properties. Now, I think this is super exciting. It's something that we weren't able to do previously in Universal Analytics, and it opens up a whole new world of possibility in terms of how you're actually modifying your events and making them look the way you want them to look in your property. So with that, I'm gonna hand it over to Matt. Thanks, Krista. And hello, everyone. I'm excited to walk you through how you're going to take advantage of this great new feature that we built for you. And to do that, I'm going to go ahead and share my screen and show you a couple of things about the feature. With Google Analytics event editing, you're now going to be able to, through our UI, input different rules to change around the events and the parameters that are coming into your property. The great news is also this happens without any retagging required of your site or your apps. Uh, this is tremendously valuable as sometimes it can take quite a while to get to your developer to have time to make changes and then also for those changes to reach all of your end customers especially true for apps where it can take a long time for every client to update their version of their app the way the feature works is first you're going to define what kinds of events you want to edit and then secondly you're going to input the data for the new things that you want to make changes to you can see an example on the right side of this slide here where every time we see an event called click we're going to change it to call it outbound click. You might want to do something like this as if you're aware of the Google Analytics 4 properties click event, this fires anytime a click happens that leaves your website. So by making this change, it would be much more explicit and clear to users of your analytics property that uh, this is a click leaving your website. A couple things to be aware of with this feature is it's now live for web streams and it's coming very soon for apps. Also, for app measurement, there's a limit of 500 unique events per property. So you wanna make sure as you're generating new events that you keep within this limit. This is great, Matt, because I, I mean, I can think of so many examples where this would be useful. Uh, one example that comes to mind is in the past, I've worked on websites where there is a CTA button of start trial. And on the homepage, one developer implemented that and used an event name that had capital S, capital T. And on another page, another developer was working on it and used lower cases across the board. And that would have come in as two separate events. But now I can actually use this new feature to rename them so that they roll up together. So this is super powerful, saves a lot of time, as you mentioned, developer resources and more, and really puts that power in the hands of the analysts. So thank you so much for going over this with us. Absolutely. So now we'd love to walk you through a demo of how this feature works. And to do that, we're going to use a real website and a real analytics account. The website we're going to take a look at is called Greenfield Village. And this is a real housing community out in the Midwest. And the website owners want customers to fill out an online application to move into the community. Clicking this will actually open up a new tab on a different website. And so as you can see here, uh, this would fire a click event normally. We want to change that to outbound click. So let's walk through how we would do that. Let's go into the Google Analytics account that measures the Greenfield Village website. And then let's load up the all events table. And now let's go ahead and click to modify an event. You can see below the click events coming in and let's modify. We haven't input any rules yet, so let's go ahead and make our first one. And we'll start off by naming this event modification. Let's call it click to outbound click. And this is going to fire any time we see an event name that equals click. And then what we want to do is modify the event name parameter to be outbound click. You can add additional conditions or modification parameters as you want, uh, but in this case, we'll keep it pretty simple and go ahead and save it. Great, so you can see the rule saved. And if we did everything correctly, uh, we'll now start seeing this live on our site. Let's go ahead and show you how we can use real-time data to verify that this happened okay. Let's go back to the Greenfield Village website, go back to the homepage. And now when I click to go to the online application, this should be firing a new outbound click event. Let's now go to analytics real-time to make sure that we see that. All right, so here we are now in analytics real time for Greenfield Village. And let's take a look at the events that we've seen firing recently and see if we can find the outbound click event. 
And sure enough, when we take a look here, you can see it. So this shows how you can modify events and then validate that immediately they are working. This is awesome, Matt. Thank you so much for showing us this. I can already think of so many use cases where this is going to be really, really helpful to Google Analytics customers. So I hope you guys see how easy this is to do and start using it today.